Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Lucinda Joseph. The Sultan of Selangor, Sultan Sharafuddin Idris Shah, has called on the Selangor Islamic Religious Department to strictly enforce the certification requirement for preachers from outside the state. He says the department must keep strict enforcement measures for sermons and Islamic teachings from such preachers. On November 18, former Perlis Mufti Dr. Muhammad Asri Na Zainal Abidin pleaded not guilty in the Gomba Lo Timor Lower Court to conducting a religious lecture without a certification of authority at a house in Taman Sri UK Ampang. He was alleged to have committed the offence between 8.10 p.m. and 9.45 p.m. on November 1st. About 1,500 people took part in a charity run held in conjunction with the Sultan of Selangor's Sharafuddin Idris Shah's 64th birthday. Many participants from all walks of life, including families and the disabled, gathered in I City in Section 7 of Shah Alam before the sunrise to get ready for the run at 7 a.m. The event, organized by the Selangor Government, Selangor Tourism, Shah Alam City Council, and Selangor State Investment Center, managed to raise 12,000 ringgit of fund, which would be distributed to four charity bodies. Those who would receive the funds are Persatuan Bantuan Bencana Alam Selangor, Shah Alam Old Folks Home, Women Protection Shelter in Gomba, as well as Rumah Hope in Petaling Jaya. Selangor Menteri Besar Tan Sri Khalid Ibrahim, who flagged off the race, says besides charity, the purpose of the event was to encourage the Rakyat of Selangor to exercise a healthy lifestyle. The High Court sentenced a former national cyclist to death after finding him guilty of trafficking 4,477 grams of ganja in 2006. Ramli Kastron from Batu Pahat was calm when Judicial Commissioner Dato Ahmadi Asnawi passed the sentence. However, he says although the court had found the cyclist guilty and passed the death sentence, there were still avenues for him to appeal. Ramli, who represented the country in Manila Sea Games in 1991 and participated in several national cycling events, was arrested at the Ay Itam Toll Plaza on April 7, or 19, 2006. National diver Brian Nixon Lomas proved once again that he is the king in the diving in the region when he effortlessly defended the men's 10 meters platform gold for the third consecutive time in the Sea Games. The diving events of the Laos Sea Games opened at the National Swimming Complex Friday. Brian collected 476.15 points after six dives leaving Muhammad Nasrullah of Indonesia, who managed only 421.65 points, a distant second. Rexel Ryan Fabriga of the Philippines, who managed 413.95 points, took the bronze. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Lucinda Joseph. Thanks for watching.